Everybody give yourselves a round of applause. Great crowd here this morning. I'm Eric Mosley with iHeartMedia, and uh, next to me, the the woman who, I, I mean, without her, this would not happen, Jody Rife. Jody, take that mic for me. You get the nice, really big, poofy mic. Uh, how, I mean, look at this crowd. What do you think of this? Well, one thing, look at the weather. <laughs> I mean, wow. Um, again, thank you so much for coming out today, guys, um, for a wonderful event. Um, the 2023 Christmas Clearinghouse. And this year, 490 families right here in the Marion area applied for holiday assistance. So without events like this, we would never be able to take on that many families. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Marion community. I mean, you are the ones that put this together, really. Jody's the one that kind of heads it up with her group. But the donations and everybody just getting together to help these families at Christmas, this is because of all of you. So thank you so much for that. Now joining me up here is Mr. Peanut. Jeff, you know, Jeff, if we put a top hat and a monocle on you, you would be Mr. Peanut. I, I thought about that. I really did. Uh, 1996 is when I did my very first peanut push, and here we are in 2023. So that you, your first peanut push was then, but this took place a long time ago. Charlie Evers got this started, what was it, in about 1981, wasn't it? Actually, it was, I think it was 1979, I, I think. And then he ended up going to uh, another station for a while, and it kind of died away. And then when he came back in 1990, we kind of revitalized it again. Yeah, I mean, it is such a great event, and the history of this event, over 40 years of us being able to do this, and people showing up in great weather, bad weather, and it's been a great event all the way around, and we can't have Peanut Push without Jeff Ruth. Wouldn't you guys agree? you got to have Jeff Ruth here for Peanut Push, right, Jeff? Thank you. I wanted to continue. Uh, this is the third year that we broadcasted on 104.7 and 107.1 WZMO, and I appreciate Tom and the staff for letting us come out and kind of help out as well. All right, well, you can hear a little bit of uh, noise behind me. That's because our uh, friends, the Marinari Harley Riders, they're getting ready to make their way around, and, and we know what that means, right, Jody? If, if they're coming around, we know that they're bringing something with them, right? Absolutely. And there they are. If everybody could sort of part ways here a little bit, they're going to park on the left side of the street here. By the way, I did want to mention the coldest one year, and this would have been the late 90s. It was two degrees when we started, and when we ended, it was two below. I think it's 51 now. This, I believe, is the warmest peanut push, uh, at least on memory. I mean, I think the first one I did was about... 20 degrees and uh, I thought that was cold. I, I couldn't imagine doing that, Jeff. Remember the one a few years ago where it's, because uh, we always do it at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock it was fine, it was like 36 degrees, but by 10.30 it, rain was coming down in sheets. And it's like, oh, if we'd only started 30 minutes earlier. Yeah, I mean, you can't really predict the weather unless you're a meteorologist, right? Let's see, there's people laughing, you know. The only job that you can be wrong at every day and still have a job. Uh, but this is perfect weather, 50 degrees at start time. Uh, what, I mean, is there one that you remember that was warmer than that? How long is this? No, I don't remember warmer, but I remember colder. Um, one year we had ice picks yes. on the road, um, picking ice off the road, so, yeah, so, yeah, this is awesome. And of course, yes, Santa is here. Santa's lost some weight this year. He, he must, must be on the Jeff Ruth diet. diet. There, I mean, he's, he's going to eat more. He's not done eating. <laughs> so, Jody, let's just talk a little bit about what goes on during the year. Uh, because we know it's not all just about today. And you have a lot of things that you do throughout the year. What is it that Christmas Clearinghouse, number one, tries to do, but also what do you do throughout the year? You know, I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with Olympia Del Flora, Superintendent, Marion City Schools. So what is Christmas Clearinghouse doing down here today? 
Christmas Clearinghouse is really a blessing. I mean, um, Jody coordinates all of this and all of the funds that are raised, they really go back to our families. And just as Jody said, it's such a gift to make sure that no kid in Marion goes without gifts for this holiday season. And what is one Christmas wish that you have this year? One Christmas wish? Yeah. I, Did my words mess up? <laughs> I always just want people to enjoy time with family and friends. Life is just really a precious time. I know a lot of times it's about physical gifts, but to me, it's really about being able to spend that precious time with family and friends. It all goes back to our community. Without our community, we would never be able to pull any of these events off. So, um, again, it starts with families registering and getting the word out, you know, how many families we have, and then whether it's adoptions or businesses collecting items or cash donations, um, it all just comes together. And again, this event here is such a huge part of Christmas Clearinghouse. So again, I cannot begin to, to thank everyone. I mean, I could sit here and probably talk an hour on thank yous. You know, who does what for us. But again, all I can say is thank you, community of Marion. Absolutely, and Christmas Clearinghouse does so much. Yeah, give them a hand. And, and Jody, this is what, your 24th year? Yep, 24 years. That's amazing. That is amazing. And you, you told me the other day, you, you know at some point you're going to have to give it up, but you just don't think that's happening yet. You feel like you can keep going with it. Absolutely, and the community partners we have built, you know, I need and made contact with, and that's why I keep doing what I do. Absolutely. Well, you do a great job. The whole group does a great job. Real quick, I see Mayor Scott Scherzer over there. Come here real quick, Mr. Mayor. we we'll have you come up here. If you don't know, this is Mayor Scherzer's last official peanut push as mayor. And you've had some pretty good showings out here. Well, it, you know, it's for a good cause. And you've already talked about what a great and generous community this is. And it, it's just so much fun to get out here and participate. Uh, the question I get so many times now is everybody wants to know what I'm going to do when I'm done being mayor. I have decided that I am going to be the president of the International Association of Peanut Pushers. And we're going to open that here in Marion. There we go. That's perfect. You, I can't think of anyone better to do that because you, again, you've been a part of this pretty much every year. Well, the IAPP should be promoting the professional athletes that come out here on an annual basis to raise money for this great charity, Christmas Clearinghouse. I know myself personally, I was training last night eating peanuts as I prepared to come out here and compete at the highest levels. So, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, he's, he's making his last official one uh, maybe the most memorable. So I think uh, the mayor not only going to be leading the, what is it? The, it's the IAPP. Let's the IAPP sure. also apparently has a future in comedy. Yes, so thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. It's thank awesome you that you're out here. And uh, everybody, just give Mayor Scherzer a round of applause. Thank you, Marion. All right, well, I think let's get them Harley Riders up here. Come on up, guys, and let's, uh, we've got some presents to open. Guys and gals. Guys and gals. Why I said guys as a whole, and guys and gals, I will be correct here. I'll grab the check. So, again, these, these guys and gals, if you uh, don't know, do a ton during the year in charitable service, but one of the big things they do is standing out in the sun during the summer and collect money for Christmas Christmas Clearinghouse standing in the uh, in the road making sure that you guys can can give money away so they put their lives on the line literally and are able to uh, uh, get some money for us so I'm, I'm turning it over to you guys because you guys just I don't feel like I can even adequately explain what you guys do so tell everybody uh, what you did to raise money this year uh, well I'll go ahead and say what we're gonna do here in about another 29 days to start this all up again because that's when it starts, January 1st. We start sending out uh, corporate letters asking for donations. Uh, that all boils down through the course of the year. Uh, we had a bike, sh uh, bike night out at the clubhouse this year to help raise more money for this. Uh, so that was an add-on. 
We also do our panhandling. Thank you, Marion, for donating. It's all coming back to you. Uh, we do our toy run. Anybody that's made it had breakfast down at 3313. Even if you can't do the run, that goes towards this portion of it. Uh, and this coming year, at our rodeo, we're going to raise some money and we're going to have McGuffey Lane at our rodeo. Place. Nice. So we got another add on. We're just trying to do everything we can to raise more money for Marion. Uh, I told them to keep me dumb. I don't know. I don't want to know what the check is. I know just put it in there and keep giving it to the kids, you know. Uh, hopefully we beat last year's total. That's what we try for every year. Marion comes through, uh, panhandling our events, our local businesses. Uh, everybody is really supportive of this town. It's amazing. And like I said, we see you guys out all the time, it seems like, doing stuff. And it's it's not just a, a charitable group. You guys are a brother and sisterhood, too. Oh, yeah. We got uh, right around 40 members. Uh, we do a lot of stuff for us at our clubhouse privately and talk about doing stuff to raise money for here. We're always coming up with new ideas. Uh, Jody's helped us out a bunch. Uh, she, she makes sure our toy runs right. Uh, Missy, she's like the one that's gung-ho. This has got to be perfect. Heck yeah, raise your hand there, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of people keeping us in line, too. So we, we appreciate all the help. All right, well, let's go ahead and unveil the check. Let's, Jody, do you have tissues ready? Because this always gets her. Let's go ahead. Over $41,000 raised. Oh, my goodness. Great job. So I believe we beat last year. You so did. <laughs> wow. Here come the tissues. Yep. Somebody get Jody some tissues because it gets her every time. Man, that is amazing. And thank you, Marion Community. I mean, not only uh, the Harley Riders, but Marion Community for giving to them. Uh, they're the vessel, but you guys are the ones that were able to give. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marion. It's all coming back to you. Great job. We beat last year's total. Thank you so much. All right, one more round of applause for the Harley Riders. Wow, that is just amazing. Uh, great job. And again, that money goes to families in need here at Christmas. And uh, just amazing. Think of all the toys and gifts and, and clothes, all the things that they can get with that money. $41,371.21. That is simply amazing well while we're giving out money let's go ahead and uh, let's get Scott Shaver over here and Scott is representing OK Cafe and uh, we'll get you on a mic here because you know how to use a mic I know how to use one of these things this, yeah yeah this seems real familiar <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? We got the band back together. The band back together. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, Scott, you guys did a bike night all summer long, actually into the fall, right? Yeah, every Thursday night we started, I think, uh, in the uh, first week of May, I think, yep. is when we started, and we finished up the last Thursday in September, and every Thursday at the OK Cafe we had bike night, and uh, we just had a great turnout uh, each and every week. Uh, that it didn't pour rain down on us, which unfortunately it did a few times this year. Uh, but nonetheless, we still ended up with a really nice check to uh, to give to the Christmas Clearinghouse this year. I want to thank all of the other clubs that came out. I mean, we just got a little, you know, praise for the Marion Area Harley Riders for the for their big check. But uh, all of the other clubs that are around in town that came out every Thursday night to spend bike night with us at the OK, we really appreciate you guys. And th this all of this money came from the 50-50s that we did. And the best part about that is, I think just about every person that won 50-50 at bike night just gave it back. Wow. So, I mean, <laughs> they didn't even keep their 50%. So uh, we thank them for uh, giving it all back. So how about we, uh, Jody, oh, you're yeah. here. There here, we why don't you go ahead and you open your check. Yeah. <laughs> you open your check. I'll get it from this end. There you go. Wow. What did we end up with? I forget. 5229 bucks. Very nice. Christmas Clearinghouse. Uh, thanks to all the bikers in Marion that came out and all the non-bikers that came out to bike night too. 
Absolutely. Well, thanks, Scott. And again, the Marion community coming out in droves and helping Christmas Clearing House. This is just amazing. I love, love, love seeing that. Well, okay, Jody, I got to get you over here now. So, uh, what what are you feeling right now? Well, I'm speechless, and that's for me to be speechless. <laughs> but again, thank you guys. I I can't even. I don't even know what to say. Um, the support everyone gives Clearinghouse, the Harley Riders, the OK Cafe. Without you guys, we would never, ever be able to do this. So from my heart, thank you. Awesome. That is just amazing. Well, I think we can uh, we can go ahead and get the royalty up here. So we, I, as we have collected money, we might as well talk about who is king and queen, prince and prin princess. And once I call your name, please come up here, get recognized, get your gifts. Let's start with the prince and princess. The prince this year is KJ Vernon. He's a 10-year-old from Delaware Christian, and he raised $652. So come on up here. He, this, this is his first peanut push, so I th think he's a little, little apprehensive about what's going to happen. We're, we're not going to pour a bucket of water over your head or anything like that. Well, he may not have been worried about that until you just said it, Jeff. Uh, okay, and now our princess is Madison Fosnaw. She's nine years old and she raised $1,137. So nice job, Madison. Very good job. Now let's go on to our king. Once again, Daniel Bradshaw, he raised $1,951.58. So Daniel, come on up here. If you can't tell, he takes it kind of seriously. He's running up here, so he's obviously in pretty good shape. You do know you don't have to run on the course, right, Daniel? Okay. And then our queen... Uh, for a second year in a row, Liz Millizer, come on up. She raised $2,328.45. Daniel is wearing a Pillar Credit Union hat, a Pillar Credit Union jacket, and Pillar Credit Union pants. So I would say... He's representing Pillar Credit Union very, very well. Yes, and Liz is with Generation Realty, and uh, both Pillar and Generations did a great job this year getting money put together for the peanut push. And Daniel, I'm not sure how many years he's won the king, but he has run uh, for king many, many years representing Pillar Credit Union. Yes, he has, and uh, Daniel still representing Pillar Credit Union, uh, just as a volunteer wanting to be a part of it, uh, and he is doing a great job. You, you even have a Pillar Credit Union pen. Well, I am a Pillar member, so, you know, but they do make great pens, I, I have to say. Uh, Jody, I, I think we want to try to thank some of the, uh, the push chairs uh, and, and make sure that they know, or everybody knows, who kind of helped you with everything this year. Yes, absolutely. Um, without the radio station, of course, and Becky Richardson, I where Becky's at, if she could please come up, and Tammy Brammer. These are my two peanut push chairs, and they are like the backbone to the peanut push with me. So um, I'm going to let them talk a couple minutes absolutely. and uh, let them do their thank yous. Okay. Um, I just want to thank Taste of Memphis for letting us using their building for registration. For all the businesses that let us put up flyers and boxes for donations of toys, for all the royalty for uh, giving of themselves so others can receive, I really praise them. For everybody coming out, I thank you so much. If we could, if we could get all the mascots up here, I'd like to have a picture with all the mascots. We've got Santa. We've got the Grinch. 
We've got uh, Sharaf. Yeah, we see. We have Strike. Um, we have, well, Elf on the Shelf. He's being very quiet. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you knew. Elf on the Shelf right here in front of us. No, you're, well, yeah, you're, you're the main guy. Yeah. <laughs> We appreciate all of them coming. Marion County Children's Services. We have um, also Warren G. So we wanted to just get them and, and know that we appreciate you. Go around, get your pictures taken with them, and um, we just wanted to, to recognize them and thank them. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And yeah, we want you all to get pictures with the mascots, get pictures with Santa. This might be the only time you see Santa and the Grinch with their arm around each other. So get pictures of that especially. And uh, this is just a great turnout. Like I said, it's so amazing. Uh, well, I think we've gotten to the point where we can uh, start pushing some, some peanuts here. So I want to make sure everybody knows there are two chalk lines. We will be going from this line, my left, your right, to this side, your left, my right. Okay, we have the heats here. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I am here today with... This is Mrs. Bebout. So what is Christmas Clearinghouse doing here today? This is an amazing thing that has been going on for years in Marion, and Christmas Clearinghouse provides hundreds and hundreds of kids with a wonderful Christmas and their families. So today is the peanut push and it is something special. If you've never seen the peanut push, you need to come and see it. They get down on their hands and knees and they have a little peanut in front of them and then they have things on their nose so they don't skin their nose. They push it across the street and the whole idea is to get your peanut across first. What is one Christmas wish that you have this year? My Christmas wish is just to spend some quality time with my family, and I hope that everybody gets to do that because the holidays aren't about the gifts. The holidays are about time with your family. So everybody put your peanuts down in front of you. Once the judges give me the okay, I will go on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> All right, on your mark, get set, go. Crowd, you need to cheer them on. The king made sure to uh, take his glasses, but Chris just went ahead and uh, did his thing. I, I would say on FanDuel, he's probably about uh, uh, one to five to win this year. Wow. That's, now, Daniel is the king. Jeff just laid it down. He said that Chris is one to five. Chris looked really, really impressive. There we go, and Daniel is the king, said that was really impressive work, so we still have people pushing, come on. The reindeer are struggling, aren't they? Yeah, I think they realized that those little fuzzy noses did nothing. <laughs> they did nothing to help them, and now uh, they're trying, they are really trying. There we go, we got a couple more. Now this is for bragging rights between all of them at work. Katie Downey was the first of the reindeer across. Okay, there we go. And we just have a few more there. Kathy Swanner. Kathy Swanner just... Uh, church, church service is at 10.30 tomorrow morning, so you got to pick it up a little bit. Well, she, uh, she did pick it up a little bit. I think, I think Kathy said, I'm done. <laughs> we still got a few. Now, Santa and his reindeer aren't done just yet. On Donner, on Blitzen. Oh, I wasn't laughing. Come on, come on. 
Come on, cheer the last one through. Let's go, let's go. We'll see if Kathy mentions this during the children's moments tomorrow morning. <laughs> My name is Ace Mayer. I'm with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Kathy Swanger. So what are you all doing down here today? So we are doing the peanut push, which is a fundraiser for Christmas Clearinghouse. And there aren't very many times that I would do a get up like this and actually try to cheat a little bit and make a fun fan to try to push the peanut little technology going on here. I must say it didn't work. So, hey, cheaters never win. I did not win. But the bottom line is the kids win because we raised a lot of money for Christmas Clearinghouse. What is a Christmas wish that you have for, for somebody? You know, my Christmas wish is that we would all just slow down and instead of asking for presents, that we would all just be present with each other and that we'd have a little more love. All right. There's a lot of people in this heat that really want this. I can see it. I mean, the looks of determination are unreal. Those are either looks of determination or they put their back out. I'm not sure which one. All right, so on your mark, get set, go! Uh oh, we got two neck and neck. Mayor Scott Shirts are going on a run here. This one's going to be tight. Oh, I. I don't know. So Mike Fosnaw and Daniel Bradshaw. So what do we, are we getting needed? Okay, Daniel was second, Mike Fosnaw first. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Mayor Scott Scherzer. So, what are you guys doing down here today? Well, we're raising money for Christmas Clearinghouse. Um, I'm also down here to promote the International Association of Peanut Pushers, which is an organization that promotes this group right here, these professional peanut pushing athletes in Marion, Ohio. We want to take this nationally, internationally, and we want to bring it into the Olympic sporting events. So what is a Christmas wish that you have for somebody? Well, the Christmas wish is for everybody in the city of Marion to have a happy, safe holiday season. Merry Christmas to everybody, but also to make sure that the IAPP promotes the peanut pushers of Marion, Ohio, and the good charity work. All the f businesses and the Harley Riders Association do a great job with the Christmas Clearinghouse. Spring chicken. All right. Look, I don't know. These athletes look intimidating. Come on, Chris. Come on, Harley. Come on, Let's go. Get down there, Brady. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. Let's cheer them on. I'm seeing signs in the crowd. Go, Emily. the early lead and he's he's stretching that out even more I think Brady Henry's got a pretty good shot here his nut is broken though he's still pushing it he's got a new one though there's Brady Henry looks to be the winner in number 78 that is Lane Meadows. Lane Meadows, second. Okay, there we go. There we go. And now just cheer these people on for participating. Come on.
Come on now. <laughs> there we go. How many how many of you participating are thinking this is not as easy as I thought it would be? There we go, yep. Oh, I gotta push a peanut? That's no problem. I'm Ace May with Harding Telecom News and I'm here today with Adonis Bolden. Good morning to you, Ace. So what are you guys doing out here today? Uh, we're here to support a good cause, and that is to help take care of the Marion community. What is a Christmas wish that you have for somebody this year? Health. I hope that uh, we all can be healthy and make it through another year and uh, be fortunate enough to spend time with our family members and friends. Thank you. For the pride of the Prexies, on your mark, get set. Go! Oh. Right down there, yeah, I can't see the number. Yeah. I think that's Ray J. Harbaugh. And his tape came off his nose. Oh no! Number one was first. Okay. So that's Ray J. I believe. Let's go. You don't want to give up. That's it. You don't want to give up. Come on. Let's get to the finish line. Here we go, yes, good job. We only have a couple more going. Let's cheer on the offensive lineman, come on. I was an offensive lineman once. Let's everybody cheer him on. Come on, he is. He's giving up here. Let's go. Come on. Almost there. He's getting it. I have faith. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with Kelly McKay, school board president. So, what are you guys doing out here today? I'm just here to support all the administration and students who are pushing a peanut across the street today. So what is a Christmas wish that you have for somebody this year? I wish that all of our students, staff, and administrators have a great Christmas and that it's a peaceful time for everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. On your mark. Get set. Go. Let's cheer him on, come on. Keep it going. So Ebony, way in the lead. Wow. I mean, Chris DePew, you better watch your back. Wow. So Jeff, I want to ask you, I mean, you are a veteran of this, you, you are a sports genius. Have, have, what have you seen out of the, these people, these contestants that maybe they need to work on or anything like that? The, the sideways motion is definitely better. I've seen a few trying to 
go forward with the no, that that just doesn't work. You got to do the side weight motion, and that takes practice, people. It really does take practice. Mayor Scott Scherzer, he can help you train for this, for the IPPA. IAPP, that's what it is. There is one young lady, I'm not going to mention her name, but that's probably the worst effort I have ever seen. She's trying, her peanut just isn't moving. Well, I think uh, you better be careful, Jeff, because I think her father's a state trooper. Yeah, I, Jeff drives a blue car, sir. It's a Honda. Just letting you know. All right, great job, ladies. Great job on that heat. I'm Ace May with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Scott Shaver. So, what are you guys doing out here today? We're out here, obviously, supporting the peanut push and supporting the Junior Service Guild's Christmas Clearinghouse. And uh, I'm here to represent the OK Cafe. All summer long, we had uh, bike nights, and we did 50-50s. And all of the money raised through the 50-50s uh, was uh, given to the Christmas Clearinghouse earlier this morning. I think our total was 50 or 5229 if I remember right. So $5,229 to the Christmas Clearinghouse. Thanks to all of the bikers in the community that came out and enjoy bike night at the OK Cafe all summer. So what is the Christmas wish that you have for somebody this year? Uh, just to be happy and healthy and uh, what else can I say? As long as you got those two things, you're doing good. Yep. Thank you. Can I say one thing real quick? Can I say one thing real quick? Uh, just to, um, I don't know when this is going to air, but uh, this Tuesday night over at the OK Cafe, Santa and his live reindeer are going to be on our patio, and we're going to be giving away free candy canes and free hot chocolate, and uh, Santa will be there to take wishes from the kids. So uh, come out and see Santa and his real reindeer at the OK Cafe. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. I think everybody's ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. Let's go. Again, the cheerleaders are going and I don't hear people cheering. Let's go, guys. And we've got King Daniel Bradshaw down here doing actual cheers, which I love. Let's go, ladies. You're doing well. There's actually... A great group here that could finish first in this heat. Remember, you finish first, you make it to the finals. We've got, we've got a, oh, no, no, no. There we go, we have a winner. Number 85, Brielle Terry. There we go. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Matt Gardner from the Marinary Harlot Riders. So what are you guys doing down here today? Uh, this morning we presented a check for a Christmas Clearinghouse for over $41,000, beat our last year's record, uh, just giving it back to Marion. So what is the Christmas wish that you have for somebody this year? I wish everybody has that great feeling. We just gave that check away to support Marion. It, that's the feeling I want everybody to have, just to give back, give it to the community. Thank you. Well, this is, it's not, these are actually hand brooms, so they still have to bend over and, and do a little bit of work here. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Here we go. Oh, man, KJ, he's showing that peanut who's boss, but look at Ma Rollins, oh, wow, Matty Rollins across the finish line. Nice. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Jody Rife. So, what are you all doing out here today? Well, today is the 2023 Peanut Push, and I am the director of the Christmas Clearing House. So, this is just one of the events we do to raise money for the children of Marion. What is the Christmas wish that you got for somebody this year? You know, health. I want everyone to be healthy and happy. 
Thank you. You're welcome. This is for all the mar nope, not marbles, all the peanuts. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Falls on the pew, but here comes... That's just going to be real close. Wow. I'm Mace Mary with Harding Telecom News, and I don't think I've seen anybody this green or this fuzzy. What's your name? My name is The Grinch, and I am Marion's real Grinch. I just want everybody to know that. I'm not wearing a funky face. I can talk to you, eat dinner with you, steal your french fries, and kiss your loved ones. <laughs> and so, what are y'all doing out here today? Uh, we're supporting Marion, the, the peanut push and everything. I just... Unfortunately, I just got arrested by the sheriff. <laughs> they uh, yeah, I saw car. that. That was funny. <laughs> was uh, so, what is one Christmas wish that you've got for somebody this year? I just want everybody to try and put all their differences aside and just bring a little happiness to this town for a while because it's just something we really need. We really need it. I totally agree. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, so for third place, Brady Henry. There you go. And, and I just want to ask you a couple questions. So, obviously, you know, football is your sport, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, how, how did this compare athletically with football? I'm not really sure it does. <laughs> but I just got down there and pushed the peanut. I think that's going to serve you well in the future. Thank you, sir. Second place. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here with... Santa Claus. So you're a long way from the North Pole, so what are you doing out here today? Well listen, I love the people from Marion, Ohio, the students that are here, the young people, the kids, the families, I'm here to support all of them today. What is a Christmas wish you got for somebody this year? I'm wishing for peace for the entire world, for everyone to not be hungry and to have all the gifts and love that they need this year. That is some good wishes, thank you Santa. You're welcome and a Merry Christmas Marion. <laughs> Second place this year, Chris DePew. Now, Chris did it all legal this year. Okay, so I want to know, Chris, what are your thoughts after coming in second? This man is very talented. Because I felt like I went fast. And, and you're keeping it classy. I appreciate that. Can't let him complain all the time. That's right. And you're going to start training today for next year, right? Correct. Come over to Max Air, bounce on the inflatable, I'll show you how to push it faster. There you go, Chris DePew with Max Air. Everybody give him a hand. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Coach Williamson. Coach Ramsey. Coach Kern. So, what are you all doing out here today? Just supporting the community and bringing our players out, getting them involved in the community. Yeah, we're just watching the kids out today. Got a pretty good number out today and got some good winners out there too, so it's been a been a nice uh, Saturday morning. Uh, just supporting the community. So, what is one Christmas wish you got for somebody this year? Playoffs next year. <laughs> uh, yeah, just to keep getting better with our with our guys and uh, have a really good off season. Yeah, just, just putting in the work in the off season. Get ready for next year. Thank you. And our champion this year, Mike Fosnaw. Okay, Mike. You've done this how many years now? This is the second year. Just the second year. So after one year, you're a champion. I mean, what did you do differently? Um, I just committed. Got on my knees and scraped across the street. You got on your knees and prayed and then got on your knees and scraped across the street. That's great. Now, were you were you encouraged by the fact your daughter did such a great job raising money? I did commit a little bit more because of my daughter. Yes. There you go. All right. He did it for the family, people. You got to love that. Everybody, Mike Fosnar, our 2023 Peanut Bush Champion. Awesome. My name is Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and I'm here today with... Jeff Ruth. So... What are y'all doing out here today? We're raising money for the Junior Service Guild Christmas Clearing House. Uh, this actually started uh, back in the 1970s, and 
what we do is we get on North Main Street and we push a peanut from one side of the street to another and we see who has the, uh, the best time in Marion. What is a Christmas wish you have for someone this year? Ha, uh, peace, uh, it's, it's a trade statement, but we need peace. We need to be a little more tolerant of people. I completely agree, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, Jody, Jeff, let's uh, just kind of wrap this up here. Uh, wow. Look at all these people, this is amazing, isn't it? It sure is, and again, Thank you to everyone that came out today and participated and supported this wonderful program. No. I'm Ace Mayer with Harding Telecom News, and today I'm down here with... Eric Mosley with iHeartMedia. And so, what are y'all doing out here today? Well, today was the 2023 peanut push, and we had a beautiful day for it, raising money for Christmas Clearinghouse and uh, letting families actually enjoy Christmas that maybe wouldn't get a chance to because of different difficult circumstances. So what is a Christmas wish that you have for somebody this year? Oh, man. Well, obviously, I, I the, the common answer, wish for peace for everybody. I, I wish my this is the first Christmas I have uh, with all three grandkids being uh, together with me. So I wish that they don't hurt me as they play. And I also wish that they uh, get everything that they want for Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Now, when will the actual process begin as far as people being able to pick their items up and talk for a moment, if you would, about adoptions, because you can still adopt. Absolutely. Um, Monday, December 4th, um, I will open Clearing House at 1680 Mary <coughs> And Children's Services, um, they donate a building every year for me to use. And we're there from 4.30 to 6.30 nightly till December the 15th. And then on December 16th, that's when the families will come through and get to pick that special item for their children. Awesome. It's an amazing, amazing cause. And you guys turned out big time this year. Jody, thank you for everything you guys do. We appreciate it. Thanks for supporting us in doing this. And we couldn't do it without you. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Eric. Thank you to the radio station. Thank you to Daniel and Liz and Madison and KJ and the Harley Riders, the OK, Memphis Barbecue, and the community of Marion. All right, Jeff. I mean, another year in the books, what do you think? Hey, it's a lot of fun. Let it, obviously, the weather helped, but this was the biggest turnout that I can ever remember. Yes, great job turning out, guys. Marion community, we thank you so much. This wraps up the 2023 WMRN Peanut Push in Marion, Ohio. Thank you very much. Yeah.